Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find what we call the zeros of a function. And if you notice, this is a quadratic function f of x equals x squared minus 3x plus 9. And I said here down on the bottom of the screen that in order to find the zero of any function, you need to set up that function equals to zero. What do I mean? Make the function equals to zero. That's the way we find the zero of the function. And in this case, we have this equation then, this quadratic equation, x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals zero. Okay, how do we solve this quadratic equation? One way that I will try always will be factoring. And if you watch my YouTube channel, that's my factoring. I'm looking for two numbers whose product is nine and the sum is negative 3. Do we have any two numbers for which the product is 9 and the sum is negative 3? Let's check it. One way to get a product of 9 is 1 and 9. However, this doesn't work because 1 plus 9 is not negative 3. And the second way is 3 and 3. 3 times 3 is is 9. However, this one doesn't work also. So factoring doesn't work. So what will be another way to do it? So another way to do it is the quadratic formula, which is right here. x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So my first step here will be to evaluate this discriminant b squared minus 4ac, how we call it. And in this case, what is b? b is negative 3, right? The guy that goes in front of x. How much is a? a is 1, the invisible one, which is now very visible, a number in front of x squared. And what is c? c is this 9. Okay, so we're going to plug this in this uh, formula, and we have uh, negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times 9. So I use this parentheses special at the end to see how you plug them in. And we have here positive 9 because negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 9, 36. 9 minus 36 is negative 27. And we notice already something very interesting here. Uh, which is this discriminant is negative, right? Okay, so that's one of the reasons, in fact, that we cannot use factoring. The discriminant is less than zero uh, negative. So we do not have a real solution for this equation. We don't have real zero for this function. However, we have what we call complex solution for this equation, which we can find them. x equals, we're going back to this quadratic formula, and we have negative b now. It's going to be negative, negative 3, right? Plus or minus square root of negative 27. Okay, over 2a, 2 times 1. So, first of all, let's take a look. What can we simplify here? We have positive 3, right? Plus or minus, and that square root of negative 27 is i square root of 27, make it positive, and square root of 27, remember 27 is 9 times 3, so that would be 3 square root of 3. So that is the guys here that we can write in order to simplify over 2. So now we have the two zeros. The one zero is at 3 plus 3i square root of 3 over 2, and the other one is at 3 minus 3i square root of 3 over 2. Those are complex uh, solution of the quadratic complex zero. And I can see that in this picture, because if you notice in this picture, this is the f of x, the graph of f of x is right here. And it doesn't cross the 
x axis so which tells us no real zero as you notice these complex zeros can be found only by doing the algebraic process the quadratic formula in this case if you have real zeros you have two situations something like this these are going to be the zeros obviously you can have an upside down parabola that cross the x-axis two, two times but it's one other choice it touches the x-axis but like i said in this case yeah whenever if you use a graphing calculator or something else and you have no intersection that means no real zeros uh, we have complex zero like in this case if you enjoy this example don't forget to click the like button and come back at c square for more help thank you